Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Oshina. I am going to be sharing all of my 2023 reading goals in this video. So I am excited to share these. I have really thought about what I want my reading to look like in the new year and how I want to challenge myself slash not. Last year I put a lot of not, I mean, I started out putting pressure on myself and I slowly eased up on it, but I made a lot of ambitious goals and I wanted to try it out. I, I usually make goals that I know I'll achieve um, just because that's how I like to do it. I don't like making goals that I'm like, eh, this probably won't happen, but why not? Like, no, I don't like doing that. But I tried it last year and it didn't work out because a lot of things changed in my life last year, as you know. Um, which is good. A lot of good changes, a lot of just blessings that have been a long time coming. So I want to just have a good time in the new year. I want to just relax and these goals will reflect that. Okay. So the first one I always set is a number goal. How many books do I want to read in the new year? And I've always put it as at a hundred for the past four or five years, five years, six years, something like that. I've put it at 100 books because I always surpass 100. I, are, I always have ever since I started making the goal. But I want to test out setting a lower goal. So my goal for next year is to read 88 books. And my logic behind that is just take a book a month off the list. So 12 books less than normal. And just to kind of like ease up on things, you know, like... I hit 100 books in November this year, and so that's great. So it's it's not like I struggled to hit 100, but I would like to maybe read bigger books. I'd like to take my time reading like nonfiction books. And so just reading 88 books will give me a lot of space to casually read and enjoy it. So that's the theory. If I hit 88 in September, then I will up it to 100, but 88 for now. So goal two kind of needs that to happen because it is to read one of the biggest books on my TBR. So I realized that I like read a lot of shorts, not short books, but like, you know, between 300 to 350 pages, which is easy for me. I can read those really fast, but there are some books that I know are so good that are longer and... I own them and I'd like to read them, but I just am like, mm, let's just read like three short books rather than one big one, you know? So I want to try to read one of the biggest books that I own. So basically over 500 pages, but if it feels big to me, then it counts. So yeah, just to like do it once, you know, and get one of those off my TBR. So goal three is to reread three books. I would really like to reread some great books. And sometimes I hesitate to do that because I always want to have new recommendations for my channel and read new books for new reviews and stuff like that. And that's like important and I love doing that. But I also want to read what I want to read and enjoy what I'm reading. So there are some books that I would love to read again. And so I'd like to prioritize reading three of them. Goal number four is to successfully complete my reading challenge. So I did announce a Christian reading challenge that I'm going to be doing in the new year and I'm so excited about it. So I will link that announcement video down below if you didn't see it, but I'm very excited about it. So I want to successfully complete it. I want to do this. I want to put some effort into this and that's kind of what I want part of my focus to be um, this coming year is to just really enjoy this reading challenge and find a lot of good Christian romance books. Goal number five is to review 52 books on Instagram. So I'm like fairly okay at this, but I always forget to take a picture of the book. Like I can write a review fine, but it's like taking a picture of it that people would want to look at <laughs> is what I struggle with. So um, I want to try to like kind of review a book a week, I guess, on my Instagram and um, see how that goes. So that's my goal. And then my last goal is to try Kindle Unlimited. I, I just want to know if it would work for me. Um, a lot of you gave me the advice of getting the gift version of it so it's a bit cheaper for the year um I don't know how it works like if you have to sign up for a year if you can do it month to month it's probably cheaper to do it for the full year I would guess um but anyways I would like to try it and see if it works for me see if if there's a lot of great options on there that I can read then great 
but if it takes away from me reading my physical TBR or reading, I don't know, yeah, basically my physical books, then I don't know. We'll see if I like it, but yeah, I would want, like to give it a try. I've just been so curious about it, especially this past year, um, just from seeing all of the recommendations from people, especially on Instagram, um, of books that are on Kindle Unlimited. I'm like, I want to read that, you know? Um, so, so those are my goals. Um, if you want a refresher on what my goals from 2022 were, I'll link the video down below, but I'll just quickly like scan over them. Yeah, I had 11 goals. What was I thinking? The ones that really got me were the the goals where I wanted to read an entire author's backlist. So I wanted to read all of the Charles Martin books that I own. I wanted to read all of the Francie Universe books that I own. All of the Julie Klassen books on my backlist. Like, why would I do that to myself, you know? But I wanted to try it and it didn't work. So good to know, right? Um, but yeah, I made a whole video about these goals. I made a whole spread. So if you want to see what I was trying to do last year, I'll link it down below. But this year, yeah, I just want to enjoy myself, you know, and read just the good stuff. So let me know what you think of these goals. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think, I don't know what you think. I'm really curious what reading or like what setting 88 books as my goal is going to, how it's going to impact. Maybe it won't impact at all, but I'm like excited to do it. So yeah. That's everything, you guys. Thank you for watching. It was a quick little goals video, but I love these. I love watching them, love reading them, love everything about them. <laughs> Thank you for watching, you guys. Have a good day. Bye.